ladies, I've just come on to show you a few bits and bobs that I've been doing. Um, I'm sorry about the light, it's shocking. It, it's the afternoon, afternoon sun. <laughs> um, my glue gun's out, well, it's died. So I'm waiting for a new one, it should be coming tomorrow. So I'm like, oh, what can I do, what can I do? Um, I'm going to miss my machine later, but I just started playing with these flowers that Karen McClure sent me, these little paper flowers, and just altered them a bit. Because I'm determined I'm doing a mini album, so I thought, right, I'm going to need some embellishments. I'm not buying them. I'm not blathering it with a load of stuff that I've just bought from a shop. I'll make my own. Um, so Karen gifted me these little white flowers, and I've just put a uh, distress ink on them. And my nails are filthy. And then um, <clears throat> Geraldine gifted me these <clears throat> like stickers, There's a few different ones. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I've just altered these flowers ready. And uh, then I did this one. And I'm not a massive paper crafter. Um, it's something I'll have to really practice at. Um, I, I prefer, I don't know, using lace and material and stuff. Um, but when I, when I know that I've got a weakness at some I'll try all the more. <laughs> so I won't give up until I've done a mini album and I've got it all sussed. And another thing, oh, there's another one. Another thing that I haven't done before is um, cards. I've had some beautiful handmade cards sent. And I'm send, going to be sending out some parcels shortly. Um, I'm sending out my prizes for my challenge. And I've got a few people that I want to send racks to. Uh, and this, this and this. So I thought, right, I'm going to try and start... I've got a spot coming. Um, <laughs> making my own cards when, um, when, I send the, when I send out my parcels because when I get a parcel and there's a card in it that's obviously being handmade I'm just looking at all the ones I've got on my wall now it just really makes me smile because you can tell when a card's handmade and it's just lovely it's like getting another gift uh, more so than a shop bought card I think um, so so I got these card blanks and they like texture I picked them up because they were like a pound range and I've been playing <clears throat> and then I came across a tutorial by a lady I'll give you the her, her name Um, I've not come across her before sometimes you just get suggestions or whatever don't you or you just fall upon somebody and she's called the paper addiction the with a capital T paper capital P and addiction capital A I think but it's all like one word no spaces I don't know the lady's name like I said it's the first time I've seen how she's done um, but she looks like she knows what she's on about and I think she's got like about 10 billion videos and about 10 billion subscribers. So a lot of you may well already sub be sub to her. And the tutorial that I came across was her doing a paper dress. And the tutorial is called How to Fold a Simple Dress to Put on a Card or something. But it's called How to... So go look for it. The Paper Addiction. And I'm not joking, I... These are so easy to do, and this is so. This is my card. What I've come up with, following her tutorial. It's one of my little handmade flowers that I've just done, and my little, and then I've made this little dress, and it's like a three D folded dress. I think it says me. Um. So yeah, I really like that. I'm gonna try and play with the format of it and make the waist a bit thinner. And what I've also I've done another one as well. Hold on done another one there you go look. and I've just stuck diamantes round waist I just think they're great <laughs> now Gemma Lou it's just reminded me Gemma Lou did send me a dress folded like this but in fabric so I may well try it with a square of fabric you just need a square a, a square you do it with a square this is six by six paper or you could do 12 by 12 so you just start off with a square it's all you need um and then um, if you go look at her tutorial, I'm not going to show you somebody else's thing. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you go over and have a look, the paper addiction, go over and have a look. Because it literally took me seconds to pick it up. If you do it with her at the same time, her instructions are clear. Really, really easy to do. And I just think that is brilliant. You could put it like I have. I just thought I'd make some cards. Um... Because I'm not artsy, I can't draw and all these like stamping images and colouring them in. It's just not me. I just can't do it. Well, I could do it, I suppose, if I tried, because I can do anything I set my mind to. But it's not my cup of tea. It's not what I want to do. 
but um, I've enjoyed doing that um, so I said we're making a few of these and what I've also done is as another idea is I'll just show you it's just drying now because I've no hot glue so I'm on with old fashioned PVA Arter. so I've got my 6x6 six six, um, paper here and I've just stuck a piece of lace on the bottom so that when this dries and I, I can fold it my dress will have lace on the bottom and then I'll put diamantes as well. So that's another added thing, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. So there you go. I have seen another lady make amazing dresses out of paper. And I think she's called Gabriella Piccolo, something like that. But there's no way I could try and copy that. She's just phenomenal. But, yeah, but this is easy to do. And ooh, if I can do it, you can do it. And, you know... I think that looks really nice on that card. I'm quite pleased with it. And like I said, you could put them on tags, couldn't you? Um, or canvases, because it's like... Um, I mean, you can fold them as flat as you want, or you can leave it, like, poofer. You know? Like 3 d yeah. <laughs> I don't know the terminology, but you know what I'm on about. But I think they're really cute. Um, you could put a, a little wire coat hanger in there. Hang it up like a little thing or do a pretend washing line on your card with a few of them or I don't know, whatever you wanted. Um, you could make a little hat, little handbag. Um, in fact, uh, Linda Dexter made a hat out of a pot bottle lid. So that could go on. And I, I just think they're brilliant. So go and have a look. Go and see what uh, the paper addiction She's, it's called her channel. Like I said, I don't know her. Um, I've just literally like, tripped up over her just now. <laughs> As you do sometimes when you're on YouTube and you think, oh, that's it. So I just thought I'd try it because we're bad and it works. So go and have a look. There you go. Right, ladies. <laughs> um, what am I going to do now? I have to make some more of these dresses. <laughs> now I've got another four cards to do. So I can't stand here talking bubbles all day. I've got cards to make. Right. See you later. Bye.